Families are a big part of the Red Raider program, and Chris Beards is no exception. Our Cassie Carlson joins us now from Minneapolis with how Avery, Ella, and Margo fit right in with all the other tech supporters. Cassie? Beard's three daughters all travel in a pack. You'll find them in the stands, sitting in on press conferences or on the fireside chats. Now, they say they've given up a lot to be traveling with this team throughout the tournament, but they say seeing the hard work their dad puts in behind the scenes all season long makes these memories all worth it. We definitely get like all those phone calls at 3 a.m. when he's still up watching film and like all that sort of stuff. So just really to see how much like effort and grind he puts into this, if this is the board, it's awesome. He goes all that is a lot. Like yeah. if he's not satisfied, he'll watch film until like 5 a.m. Last night we thought he was like in for the night. He's like, all right, good night, I'm going back to work. And it was like midnight probably. So it's just like an everyday thing. The AP Coach of the Year prioritizes family, not just with his own, but with his players. Likes it because it, it um, keeps him in check and like keeps him humble. Yeah, I mean he's always said like he really only has basketball and family, and like I think people might think it's an exaggeration, but it's absolutely not. Like he has no other hobbies. He really just does work and then hangs out with us. So I think it's important that he knows the players have that same sort of like outlet too. His outlet when he's not coaching. Big Mama Mia fan. We we have a lot of family jam sessions to Mama Mia. Loves yes. ABBA. Huge yes. fan of that. Outside of country, that's probably his yeah. number one. Yeah, he's just obsessed with like weird things. <laughs> Beard's three girls have missed a lot of classes and they'll miss a couple more to see their dad's all-nighters pay off. I know my attendance means I'm going to get a B for the first time, which is not fun. I'll be going to Saturday school to make up my hours, and so, I mean, it's worth it, but it's, it's kind of stressful. I just have lots of homework that I won't, worth it, right? but I won't do it until, like, the plane ride back. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about your dad? Beard's oldest daughter, Avery, is a student at Columbia in New York. She took the Twitter world by storm during the Gonzaga game when she posted a, a picture that said she had been reading Pride and Prejudice during halftime and she finished it. For this round, she brought crime and punishment. She read it during the Final Four and she might be finishing it in the National Championship. In Minneapolis, I'm Cassie Carlson, Fox 34 News at 9.